<laughs> you think I'll let you zone. Baka. I haven't played a game with a weird and crazy concept in a while, so I'll give this one a shot. Mighty Goose is a run and gun arcade side scrolling shooter drawing inspiration from Metal Slug and Mad Max. It was developed by a blast mode and published by Playism and was released for Steam, Mac, Linux, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Switch, Xbox One, Series S, Series X on June 5th, 2021, where you assume the role of Mighty Goose, a space bounty hunter traveling the planets to stop the Void King. Can the goose save the day, or will the Void King be serving up Peking Duck on the menu? Let's find out. It starts off with the bounty hunter Mighty Goose, who has a job to hunt down Void King because of him disturbing the peace in the galaxy. Goose's first mission is to break out Commander Vark from Void's prison planet. After the jailbreak and killing the Warden, we see what Void is up to, and he doesn't like the mess Goose is causing, so he hires Crow to take care of the bird. Next on the list is Void's Weapons Depot planet, where Mighty Goose causes tons of mayhem to destroy supply chains in Void's conquest. We see Crow has something special for Goose as it's a fight of the flight and the furious when they show up in a Mad Max whip, but it's no match for the bounty hunter and Goose moves on to the next planet. Next is answering a distress signal at a mining facility in a nearby asteroid field. During the investigation, Goose comes across an infestation of organisms as he fights through the hordes. He comes across a miner saying that if they can restore power, they can save the other miners before it's too late. A few generators and miners saved, Goose comes across the queen and gives it a special type of raid. Still in the mines, Mighty Goose has to save one more lost miner after another extermination job, Goose finds the drunk miner and gets him home. Later, Mighty Goose is at an Aether Temple trying to stop the Void forces from harnessing the energy and stop Void King from having an army of undead soldiers to use. The bounty hunter makes it to the center to face off against a soldier who is supercharged by the Aether energy. The Goose cooks him and heads to a forged prison planet about forced labor and what the Void King is doing there. As Goose investigates and tears through the prison, he meets an old foe. Crow, and this time the crow is ready for the bounty hunter. As the battle rages, Crow tries to overwhelm the bounty hunter, but nothing works. Crow just wants it to end real quick, but Goose doesn't want it to end that way, which makes Crow have a change of heart and fight along with Goose instead. Now, this is it. Mighty Goose makes it to the Void King's fortress, but first he still has to fly in with the jet. After fighting his way through a gauntlet of Void King's forces, he makes it to the man himself to have an old fashioned squabble. Halfway through the fight, Void brings a mecha to the fight, but that doesn't stop Mighty Goose from from saving the day. After being defeated, the Void King is happy that they are free and just so happens to open a portal to escape as the credits roll. But wait, there's one more thing Mighty Goose has to do before the job is done, and that is to stop the Baron from taking over the sea planet. While enjoying the surf and sand, Mighty Goose meets up with the Baron and they brawl in the elevator for the future of the Fishman planet. After dismantling that penguin's big ass egghead, Mighty Goose takes them away for processing and that's the end of the main story. The gameplay of Mighty Goose is an arcade side scroller shooting platformer like Metal Slug which draws inspiration from. Mighty Goose can run, dodge, jump, and shoot in many different directions to defeat the Void King's army. Goose has a few weapons at his disposal but always starts with a pistol type gun that does decent damage but isn't an automatic or semi-automatic. Then we have the machine gun, limited ammo but has a faster rate of fire. Next is the shotgun, slow rate of fire, but massive damage with lower ammo count. After that is the rocket launcher, which does home in on targets for a ton of damage. Last is the Tesla Quail, which has a continuous damage shot because it will hit anything on screen that gets in between its arcs, but the damage will be low. After that, you have the Mighty Meter, which fills up when Goose racks up combo kills, but also depletes if you get hit consecutive times. The upside to the Mighty Meter is that once activated, Goose becomes invincible and the current weapon gets a damage bonus until the meter runs out. After that, we have the vehicles, like the tank, which has machine guns as its primary fire and shells as the ult fire. The tank has a health bar, so it can explode. Next is the bike, does almost the exact same as the tank with machine guns to deal damage, but for the ult fire, it does a ramming dash attack. The next vehicle is the jet, which is only used for specific stages. It has machine guns and a missile alt fire. Last is a mech goose can pilot that has a beam saber for a primary attack and for the alt fire is a dashing shoulder charge. Now goose can collect money from the environment or from the enemies he's killed. I didn't know it at the beginning, but you can use these to call in weapon or vehicle drops for some extra help as long as you have the cash. As you play through the story, you will unlock an assist character that you can take with you on your missions to help and they range from a duck that gets in the way of enemies 
enemies to a robot that shoots homing rockets. Hell, even Crow can be a partner and deal melee damage while you shoot. Last is Mighty Goose himself, as he can take 4 hits of damage before you die, but to make things easier, you will unlock through the game upgrades to help. Goose can only keep so many upgrades active at one time, so you have to choose which ones to fit your style of play, like movement speed upgrade, or the protein bar, which makes the Mighty Bar last twice as long. The game gets bonus points for the Dragon Ball reference with the Autonomous Ultra Instinct upgrade, which charges the Mighty Meter faster with each successful attack dodge Goose performs. So pick your upgrades wisely because a Goose cannot be too OP. As for the grading system at the end of the levels, you are scored based on how fast, largest kill combo, and how many deaths you collected during a run of said level. Mighty Goose is a pretty fun game, but it has some shortcomings, like Mighty Goose only has access to four weapon types, so there isn't much of a variety. Then there is the game length, as you can beat Mighty Goose on a blind run in about two to three hours for the main campaign, but four to five hours for a new game plus, which is just the same levels, but the levels are harder. That's why I'm giving Mighty Goose a seven out of 10. If you want something quick and fun, but can't play Metal Slug for some reason, then play this. And if it's on sale, go for it. I think Mighty Goose needed a few more levels and at least 6 to 8 guns instead of just 4. That should do it for this review. I haven't done a lot of arcade platformers on the channel, but I hope to get to do more soon. With that, stay gold and I'll see you guys next time.